Henry from Outer Space was the first moniker I started releasing music under on MySpace back in like 2008. The concept was that an alien had landed on Earth, crash landed, and he found weed. And, and, then, he, and then he made this record. First and foremost, I puke every morning before I go on a flight. It's gotten better, like I can get on a plane and just be like, I'm just straight, you know what I mean? But uh, uh, Xanax helps. Um, been prescribed the boy since I was but a child. I always need to get in somewhere the day before I have a show or something, because I would just be like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not scared of dying. I'm scared of being next to people. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if we go down in a big flaming piece of shit, but it's the people, it's the person next to me that's gonna be screaming the whole way down that's gonna make me have an anxiety attack. I really just don't like airplanes. It's really the airport, the airplane, everything about it, man. It just the whole fucking process sucks. Hate it, but you have to do it. <laughs> I'm not crazy about any pop right now. I feel like this is the worst time of the radio I've heard in a long time. 2010 sucked, and then like 2011 sucked on the radio, and then it was like, okay, 2012, 2013, 2014, what's happening? And now, every time I turn on the fucking radio, it's not even anything that I can Google or Shazam. It's a, a mashup of an old Disclosure song with like a new weekend Ariana Grande thing that is maybe a Disney movie song or something. I have no fucking idea what's going on every time I turn on the radio. Megan Trainor's the worst. Jesse J's the worst. Reed Orr's the, I, I'm sorry, I would probably delete these. Um, and someone just stole my fucking iPod out of my car and I'm really, and I have to listen to the radio. It's really bad. I don't like, I pretty much don't like any pop songs right now, which is fuck, because I love pop music. Oh, except the Rihanna Kanye song, four or five seconds, I have a little soft spot for that one. I love the bridge. The bridge on that song is like some of the most beautiful, like soul, and Rihanna snapped on that, to be honest, like in that middle part, like that's the rawest her voice has ever sounded to me. I like that. I'm a huge Kardashians fan. I'm like super stoked for Bruce to be, you know, come out as, as trans. Um, Cause I, I was seeing that for a long time and just being like, that's like bull, bullshit. You know, people talk so much shit on, on those dumb magazines. But like, if that's real, that's like, that's gonna change the world. That's some world changing ass shit, you know, to have like one of the main, the main media family, the, the American royalty have a, uh, a trans person in the family is fucking heavy, dude. That's pretty amazing. All the power to Bruce, man. <laughs>